Shalom, beloved. Our verse for today is the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 9, verse 5. It reads, We have sinned and done wrong. We have acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. The events recorded in the book of the prophet Daniel happened during the Babylonian exile. And here we have this touching prayer of Daniel made on behalf of the people in which Daniel implored the good Lord to have compassion on his chosen people, to forgive them, to forgive those who by their own folly, by their own guilt, are suffering this exile. They chose not to keep the commandment of the Lord, and this became the result. Daniel began by acknowledging something important about God. In chapter 9, verse 4, the preceding verse, he says clearly, O Lord, great and awesome, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments. The Lord keeps steadfast love for those who keep his commandments. And here is Daniel praying for a people who chose not to keep the commandments of the Lord. And he was very clear about that. He was very clear in acknowledging the guilt of the people. We have sinned. We have done wrong. We have acted wickedly. We have rebelled. We have turned aside from your commandments and ordinances. Dearly beloved, Daniel is pointing at something very important for us today as we journey in this Lenten period, acknowledging that we have done wrong. Many great men we see in the scriptures and in the history of Christianity are great, not because they did not do wrong, but because they acknowledged that they have done wrong. Coming to mind immediately is David who not only committed adultery, but also committed homicide, blood. But when he was confront confronted by the prophet, he totally acknowledged his guilt. We look at the story of St. Augustine, who lived a rough life as a youth. But when the light of God shone upon him, he turned around, metanoia, acknowledging his folly. This is what the Lord God requires of us today. It is bad enough that we are sin, but it is a catastrophe that we do not acknowledge our sin. The catastrophe is not that we sin, but we refuse to acknowledge that we have sinned. And that is why sin continues to grow when we justify our wrong deeds, when we refuse to say, I am sorry to God and also to our fellow human beings. A little thing that we have been resolved continues to grow and grow until it grows out of proportion. Dearly beloved, the Lord calls us to himself. The Lord calls us to look inwards, to acknowledge the areas where we are weak, to look up to him, to say, I am sorry, I am guilty. When Daniel says, we have sinned, he is saying, we are guilty. Therefore, by justice we should be punished, but rather have mercy on us. When we ask the good Lord in this season of Lent, no matter how much we have tried in the past to justify our wrong deeds, that we come clean to say, Lord, I am sorry. And when we do that, we heave a sigh of relief because a great burden goes out from us. When we acknowledge our sins, it touches the very heart of God. He is compassionate. We ask for this grace to say, I am sorry to God and to those we have offended. As we do that, may the Lord heal us, body, soul, and spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remain blessed this season.